Hi everybody! Hello from the Virginia Zoo. My name is Sarah. I am the Visitor Engagement Coordinator in our Education Department. Thank you all for staying home um, and helping us keep this virus under control, but we're so sorry you can't come to the zoo right now. So we are bringing you guys our um, virtual voyage today from our Nature Play space um, to help give you guys um, hopefully a little sense of the outdoors and some activities that you guys can hopefully do in your backyard so you don't go completely stir crazy while you're staying at home. Um, we have two activities that I think you guys can try. Yesterday we posted um, the supplies, so hopefully you have those ready. Um, we are going to try some dandelion stem bubble blowers um, and some nature painting. So I'm gonna try the bubble blowers first. I did test this beforehand because I didn't want to get embarrassed, but hopefully it works now that we are filming. Um, so for anyone unfamiliar, I'm sure you all know this is what a dandelion looks like. They're probably invading your yard right about now. We do consider them a weed, but they are really important. They are some of the first food that um, blooms for the bees in our area. And we all know that bees are super important pollinators. Um, there are honey bees, of course, that people raise so that we can have honey, but there are lots of different local bees that lo uh, pollinate all of our local plants. So if you can help yourself, try really hard not to destroy these guys right away. Give the bees a chance to get some snacks first. Um, once they turn all white and puffy and they're really fun to blow off into the wind, um, you guys can go ahead and play with them. We picked this one just to show you, but try and leave them in your yard. Uh, for this activity though, we don't need any of the flowers or the leaves or the roots. We just need the stem. So I grabbed a few different sizes and shapes. All the ones here at the zoo are very thin. Hopefully you have some thicker ones at home. Um, but basically what you're going to do to make your bubble blowers um, is rinse these off. They did come from the ground. So rinse them off uh, in the sink first uh, and then cut off the tops and the bottoms. Um, make sure that it's not sealed at the bottom. Sometimes that happens um, if it's been sitting out for a while. So you're kind of making a natural straw. Um, and then you're just going to make some soapy water. Um, I'm sure we all have soap at home right now, right? Um, so just dish soap is fine. If you have uh, like actual bubble solution that you might play with in the summer, um, you can use that, but dish soap seems to work just fine. Mix kind of a lot of dish soap. I didn't measure it out, that's too hard. Uh, with some water, slosh it up, get it all bubbly and sudsy. Um, and that's kind of all you need to do. And then you've got your bubble blower. So let's see if this works for me. Yeah, it sure did. Okay, I'm gonna try a different one. Let's see if this bigger one works. I don't know if this is gonna make it worse or better. This one I have not tried yet. <laughs> About the same, but that's really fun. Um, so yeah, this is a really cute, super easy activity that you guys can do to get outdoors. That's so fun. Um, <laughs> picking some flowers. Um, again, we don't want to pick all of them, leave some for the bees, um, but get you out in your yard a little bit. Um, and that was really cute. I wasn't expecting that to work quite so well with the long ones. So that's really fun. Um, my next activity um, is a little more prep work. Hopefully you have some of these supplies at home. Um, this one is nature painting and there's all kinds of nature painting that you can do. We actually have a program here at the zoo called Running Wild. Um, it is our family nature play program and we've done a couple different kinds of nature painting. Um, the best one is a little hard to do at this time of year because there aren't a lot of fruits and flowers right now, um, but we actually used the fruits and flowers as the paint. We smushed it up and rubbed it on the paper. That was really fun. So if you have some berries in your house that are starting to go bad, you can smoosh those up and paint with those instead. But for this nature painting, we are going to use actual paint. Um, you're going to get a tray. I have a little science experiment tray, but you guys can use a cookie sheet um, or any kind of tray that has just a little bit of a lip um, or even those aluminum uh, baking trays that have a bit of a higher edge. Uh, and then you're just gonna go into your yard or into a park near your house and find nature things. So we've got pine cones, rocks, um, these sweet gum, seeds, I think they are, um, some sticks, and uh, we're going to make some, some kind of crazy art with it. So you're going to basically just take your paint and put some random globs on there. Picked purple and green, those are some of my favorite colors. And then you're going to Put your nature items on there. You can also just put the paint straight onto the nature item if you want to. Let's see, that 
that'll work. And then the fun part, you're just gonna roll it around. <laughs> And try really hard not to get paint all over yourself, but if you do, that's part of the fun, I think, too. <laughs> all right, so all of my paint seem to focus in on the bottom. I might do a little bit of manual work here. There we go. And then we have some nature art. You can do that with as many colors as you want. Oh, look, and we have a bug friend. Sorry, friend. We have a little bug who almost got painted on. I'll move him in just a minute. Um, but you can use as many colors as you want. I would use washable paint. Um, again, you can use natural items for paint. You can smush up flowers, you can smush up um, berries and things like that. There are lots of recipes online too for making natural dyes. Um, my two activities today I got from our book and I know we are not encouraged to go to the library right now. I think Norfolk Public Libraries are closed unfortunately. Um, but we got this from one of our nature playbooks called A Little Bit of Dirt. There are lots of nature playbooks that are full of activities like this. Um, there are also though tons of websites which you can get on from your house. Um, just Google nature play and you will find all kinds of activities that you can do just in your backyard that you can gather a couple of things and bring inside. Um, but the weather is great, it is warming up. So hopefully you guys are encouraged to get outside, stretch those legs. I know we've all been stuck on the couch in front of our screens for a really long time. Um, so hopefully this gets you outside a little bit more. Um, Nature Play has been shown to have so many different benefits. Obviously it helps us physically because we're up and moving, um, but getting outside in nature helps boost our mood. Um, it's actually shown to help uh, eyesight in kids who are still young and developing. There have been studies on that. Um, and it's just really fun. So I definitely encourage you guys to get outside um, and try some different activities. And when we are open, um, please come back to the zoo, walk around. It is beautiful here. Hopefully lots of things will be blooming by the time we are open again. We've got our amazing nature play space, which again, I'm hanging out in today. Um, we've got a bamboo forest for you to explore. We've got stumps for you to jump on and balance beams. Um, and when we are open back up again, and we know we'll be open up consistently, we do have that nature play program I told you about called Running Wild. It's on every other Sunday and Wednesday. Check the website for specific dates. Uh, we have a different theme each month. Hopefully we open back up in April. Our theme is plants and trees. So we'll have a lot of really cool stuff there. Um, and then in May, our theme is going to be birds. So that'll be a really fun one. But in the past, like I said, we've done art. Um, we've done things about how animals stay warm for our program in December when it was a little chilly. Um, and every month has a different theme. So make sure you come and check those out. They are included with admission um, or your membership. So it is not an extra fee. You can just come and play out in nature with us and then go explore the zoo and see the rest of the animals. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. We would be happy to answer them, point you in the direction of some more nature play resources. But it's as simple as just going outside and not being afraid to get a little dirty, whether that's paint or actual dirt. We all have lots of soap and hand sanitizer now so we can wash it all off when we're done. Um, but it's good to get a little dirty, um, connect back with nature, especially when we're all stuck in the house and a little stressed out. So um, thank you guys so much. I hope you come and visit us again when we're open. I hope you, while we're not open, you still get connected with nature um, in whatever way you can. Um, keep hanging in there, guys, and um, check back in for our next virtual voyage. Thank you so much. Bye.